Hey, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage on Etsy, and this is my room tour video. Uh, so let's take a look inside. Okay, so we're standing right outside of the Etsy room. Um, this is the door that goes into it. And I guess I'll just pan around the basement um, because it is still in progress as far as the remodel goes. It was essentially just a concrete jungle down here. There was concrete walls, concrete floor. Still, still do have concrete floors, but they're just painted. So we did plaster on all the walls. I did not plaster them. I did, I did the drywall, the studding, and then I'm actually still doing the baseboards. So I've, I have baseboards to do right there. And then I, I do have some done already. Uh, the bar will still need to be painted. Uh, and then lots of other little things that I don't even want to think about. But anyways, oh, I would show you this floor. So this is the epoxy paint. It is painted with just oh, no, white epoxy paint and then you throw down the color chips and the color chips have even bits of um, glitter in there, which is really fun. Okay, so this is the Etsy room and we'll go ahead and walk in. And so I, I gave this a lot of thought as far as laying things out. And the, um, the first thing that you do walk into is the receiving table. And this is where all of the items go that need to be photographed, that are already clean, they're, they're just ready to be listed and photographed and all that. So those are right here. And then beside that is the photograph table. Um, and I'm just using an open concept here. I have my two lights that shine on that way and they give out great light. Um, they're daylight bulbs, so that works out well. It eliminates the need of using a photo uh, light box and there's a lot of reasons I, I'm going with this route but um, so that's this and then I've got my chair which I really like is this was from an auction and I paid two dollars for it it was pretty dirty when I got it so I cleaned it up a lot but it's really cool and so that's the receiving table there when you first walk in but right there is a cart that will not actually I mean, it stays there for now, but when I'm photographing, it will just come right around here and set right here so that items can be off that table, photographed, and then put on the cart. After they're photographed, then I can weigh them right here so that I have accurate um, weights on things. And then I just write all that down on my running notepad for what I'm photographing in that session. They go on the rolling cart after they're weighed and everything, and then they can be put on one of the many shelves that I have. So I have them kind of organized. I've got glassware here, well, glasses mostly, and then just, and then just odds and end things. Lots of room still, which is good. I have those two boxes and then two more upstairs. So I have lots of things to photograph that will actually soon be filling everything up. But, and then I've got this big shelf here. This shelf was from an auction. That was, oh, I think only $8. And then this, uh, this big shelf here, it's a really, really good one. This one was $15 on Craigslist. So that's essentially all of the um, shelves that I have. And then I, I have my salt and pepper shakers and smalls in bins just because it, it makes more sense to not have them on open shelves where it's wasting a lot of room. All right, and then right over here, I have my shipping station. So the items would come over here and then I have a computer to, um, it's dedicated just for down here and I can print from there to my labels right there. It's very efficient and I'm, I'm glad that I, this used to be upstairs and I would have to run up and down if things were not working out right. So I have it all here now, so it makes it so much easier. Um, back in the corner, I have my shipping supplies. Uh, it's kind of an overflow corner. Um, the majority of the shipping supplies that I do use are all right here below the shipping desk. 
Um, but I mean, I can go over this. I've got air pillows on top. Um, and then these boxes and things I don't use too much. I do use the 776s from uh, Priority Mail, USPS. But I don't really use these, uh, these because just about anything you can put in them has to be under a pound anyway. So it doesn't make sense to go Priority Mail. You'd rather just go first class. Um, and then down here, just a styrofoam for packaging. And then down below, I have extra newspapers and then just bits of cardboard that I use sometimes for, you know, being creative with the packaging. I have a whole box of 12 by 12 by 8s uh, there. And then some open boxes that I've collected just from packaging that I've bought from online. Uh, okay, then we have the uh, printer, which is preloaded with my labels, so I don't have to do it, deal with taping or anything anymore. Um, this is actually a filing cabinet that is underutilized at the minute, but I will soon be using it, I'm sure. On top, we've got a tape gun, which I love. This is a good one. It's, it's Duck Brand. I've got it on Amazon. I'll put something, I'll put um, links to some of these things. I'll note them on there in the description so you can see what I use. And they're mostly all from Amazon. Um, and then I use this a lot. This is a must have, I would say, because you can just pull the tape off with one hand. And when you're trying to hold something and tape something, I mean, it's almost a necessity to have that. Um, one thing to note about this counter is I bought this for $2 at a, uh, an auction. So that's, that's a plus. Uh, with going to auctions, I'm able to get really good deals on things and save a lot. Down here, I keep my boxes I use the most which these are eight by eight by eights and these are four by four by fours they're both about 40 cents a piece i buy them um in bulk but the i use them for first class mailing and it makes a lot of sense to just go ahead and buy a good supply of boxes to have on hand because they're you know when you can save two or three dollars over going priority mail it makes a lot of sense to just spend a couple cents on those. Um, and then here I keep my my big roll of blank newsprint. I get this at the local post office for free, which is crazy. Uh, they usually have a good supply of that there. And I just go in and I grab it. So it's a very heavy roll and this will last me a long time, I hope. So. That's great. And then I've got just bubble wrap back there. And then I think, I think that's about, oh, and then I've got poly mailers down here. Um, I use these quite a bit. These are, they come to about 10 cents a piece and they're great to have on hand. They're, um, I think nine by 12s. I'll put them in a link in the description as well. And then just odds and ends things that I really need to organize lots of tape but yeah I mean this is the the Etsy room it's it's working well for me so far I have not photographed in here yet I'm really excited to um, just for the process I've, I've sent things out I've shipped things out and this process here is so much easier everything is streamlined and just all in one place I uh, I package it up I pull up the order on the computer I send that it's shipped, I print the labels, slap on the label, and it's out the door. It's just really efficient, and um, I'm really happy with it. The Most everything is in this room now. I do have some extra floor space that if I wanted to put some more inventory here, I could, but I'm really loving the amount of room I have in here at the minute, so I don't want to clutter it up. So this is my Etsy tour video. Um, and let me know in the comments if you would change anything or have any other ideas for ways to make this more efficient or I don't know. But 
it's, I really like it. So just let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.